Well, good day, everyone. I'm so excited to have these two superstars with me. I'm Executive National Sales Director Pamela Waldrop Shaw, and I'm here with National Sales Director Kristen Sharp from Gainesville, Georgia, and from the beautiful Senior Cadillac Sales Director Leanne David from Parkland, Florida. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> here to talk to you about going virtual. <laughs> So this is being recorded in March going into April of 2020. And so you will know contextually that we're talking about the pandemic and how we have been able to pivot our business to support people. And I think the most important thing that we want to convey is that, you know, we always want to um, open with kindness and compassion and lead with courage and innovation. And that's what I see in the two of you. I see you as incredible early adapters. There, there are early adapters and then there are like super early adapters. And I would say that the two of you are super early adapters. So we're going to have a discussion about social media, technology, how to integrate into today's economy. And then we're going to talk about the ways we have done it. And we're going to move all the way to the process of Zoom to Facebook Live and the benefits from that. So let's just start out with you, Leanne. Our stories kind of started in a similar pocket of the world, South Florida. And uh, as busy, 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 I love something that you reported recently. You're like, when other people say, I don't have time, I really didn't have any time. So <laughs> yours sounded a whole lot like mine. But here's the difference. When I started, there was no Facebook, there was no live, there was no FaceTime. Hey, let's face it, there was no texting. Let's just keep it real. There weren't cell phones. So I couldn't navigate technology as a tool. I went on four hours sleep. So let's talk about how you navigated early on in your business, working with technology when you didn't know, have any skills. You were starting this business and you were wicked busy in your career. What were some things that you did at that time to start making connections with people to share a product? Yeah, well... I just remember being a brand new beauty consultant and I had just moved to South Florida. I'm originally from Pennsylvania. My whole entire family was there, you know, my, my in-laws, everyone. So when I say I did not have anybody, I knew one person in the state where I was. And I just remember thinking, I have a choice. You know, I can let my lack of resources be the reason why I'm not successful or I could let that be the exact reason why I was successful. And I remember when my sales director told me to do a power start and I said, you, you don't understand. I, when I say I don't have anyone, <laughs> I don't have anyone. And she said, well, how could you have someone? And so I chose to let that be my thinking. When I started to think I can't make this work, I shifted my brain to ask the question, how could I make this work? And we didn't have Facebook then either or Instagram. Instagram or any of these things, but I, I had the telephone. And so I innovated and I thought outside of the box and I was able to grow and connect with my circle of influence that was a thousand miles away. I remember that I mailed them samples and I would sit in rush hour traffic every day on my way to work or on my way to school at night. And I, I couldn't even see them like we have now. Like I think, gosh, if I could have seen their faces back then. But I was on the phone saying, okay, find the little packet that says cleanser. <laughs> Open that up. Oh, you're not in your bathroom? Okay, wait, go to your bathroom, wash your face. And then they would like put the phone down and I'd be like sitting there hearing the water run. But I just knew that technology was a way that I could access people that I wouldn't otherwise be able to be with face to face. Right. So I, I just embraced it. I learned it. It wasn't always perfect, but I just thought, you know, progress is better than perfect. And I'm going to figure this out as I go. Love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. And you, you did not ever hyper-focus on once you pivoted your thinking, you did not hyper-focus on, I can't do it that way. You started creating and innovating. I love that. And you, and you still, do and are. Kristen, you, I think, uh, I, I, when I think of you, of course, other than as my friend and long-term colleague, I remember when you worked for Dr. Maxwell, I never let out, outside people come to my meeting and you came and did a values clarification and it was brilliant and you were maybe 14 or something at the time. You were so <laughs> young, maybe 20, 21, you were brilliant. And then of course, but fast forward to, I, you single-handedly brought back the party to our company. The year you became a national sales director, you did a hundred parties in that year and I will never forget you put, taking off your heels putting on your flats and putting on your beauty coat to give your number one speech ah goosebumps the year you were queen and debuted as a national sales director and so you've continued to innovate and stay tight to our product when I watch your Instagram I'm like I use that same product I love it the same way I would never have thought about posting that <laughs> 
And so um, how have you embraced technology to get the message across about who you are, who our company is, how great our product is, and how has that served you and your area and our company? Oh, well, Pam, thank you. Thank you. You know, I actually started using Facebook as a way at my parties. So at my skincare parties, I would always take really fun pictures of my hostess and all the guests. Even in the individual consultation, I would do a selfie with each person so I could remember what they look like. But the strategy was, was after the party, I would go to the hostess's Facebook page and I would post a picture of the party and thank her publicly. Then I would text her and say, hey girl, um, I went ahead and just posted those pictures from last night. Would you make sure to tag everyone? I want them to just know my sincere appreciation for you and the fact that they all showed up. But Pam, that was a strategy for me because it allowed me to, of course, Facebook message and connect with people on social media that were at the party. People saw the post on the hostess's page. So this wasn't even something I did on my personal page, but on the hostess's page. And I can't tell you how many outside orders or people that just said, hey, I want to do a Mary Kay party or I'm looking for downtown brown lipstick. Can you hook a girl up? I mean, oh, no. and not brown. <laughs> you know that kind no, of you cannot hook her up. We don't no. have it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it was the individual messaging. And yeah. then what I found out was that these people wanted to check me out to make sure I was legit. And it sh showed me the importance of developing myself and my brand on social media, which then turned into Instagram. And so many times when people are making sure that I am who I say I am, the company is who they say they are, they're checking out the My MK Life hashtag. They're going to my personal Facebook and Instagram. And so I realized right away how important it was to invest in that. Yeah. And I'll tell you now with the stage and the season that we're in, of course, I would prefer face-to-face -face parties, but I knew I needed to pivot. And because I had access to those people on social media and on Instagram, I'll tell you, it's made this transition, Pam, so much easier. Absolutely. For both of you. And I can see that you were already primed based on maximizing what you had access to, that you're primed to move fast. And maybe that's why you're an early adapter, because you were an early adapter before it became necessary. So now that it's necessary, um, I, I love that. So two things come to my mind. And one of those things is... Um, what would you advise beauty consultants today? Because we're gonna, what we're, where we're gonna go is all the different ways they could do a virtual party today because it's demanding, right? And mm -hmm. um, I love that you mentioned the hashtag my MK life. I've integrated that into every um, opportunity chat that I have. Just go search the hashtag my MK life because there are so many real organic stories of what's happening and technology has given us that connectivity. I don't have to tell your story. Really, I can just tell them to go follow you and follow the hashtag and they're going to see your story. But let's say that someone is starting today. Let's run through all the different ways because we've got so many independent beauty consultants who the only way they knew was to do the party in person. But let's talk about the advantage right now, since it's our necessity. Let's talk about the advantage. I'll bet that you guys like me are dressed from the waist up. Is that correct? <laughs> uh, and, and we did not have to drive to meet or fly to meet. We walked into the, the comfort of our homes. You're, you're both hiding from children. I'm hiding from my dog. We're in our home with our ring lights and we don't have the gas to drop to an appointment. We're not taking the time away to drive to appointments. So there's more time freed up. Our beauty consultants are in that space, but they might have the limiting belief that they, if they can't get with people, they can't hold new parties. Leanne, you and I were running through it. You were running through a litany of they could do FaceTime, they could do Facebook Live, they could do, would you guys run through, and let's, we're, we're moving towards Zoom because to me, Zoom is the ultimate technology for us to be using today for so many reasons. But I heard one of my directors this morning talk about her consultant was willing to try it if she could do Facebook Live because she couldn't see anybody. And so it was like, it would be like her looking in the mirror. Another one of my directors brought up the point that remember how Mary Kay used to tell us to get up, get dressed and put a mirror when we're making phone calls. Well, our mirror is right in front of us right now. We're all looking at ourselves and each other. So there's yeah. so many forced reasons that today is really a great opportunity. In fact, I'm going to read this from Dr. Joe Dispenza. He's a neuroscientist and it says, we're all faced with great opportunities, brilliantly disguised as impossible situations. And there's always an open door 
We have to see adversity and challenges from a greater level of consciousness, not the same consciousness that created it. That's how we evolve. And so um, that's what I see you guys doing. So let's do a run through. Beauty consultant, no clients, no experience, low skill level. What are her options? Let's say even without samples, because we can do it with samples or without samples. But let's go, today I got no samples and I wanna do a virtual party. What are her options? Let's run through some of those that you guys have talked about. Leanne, why don't you go first? Well, this is one of the things that I did early on in my business when I said I was walking people through to tear the packet apart and they were in their bathrooms. And so you can send them a facial in a bag and don't, don't go overboard. You don't need every single sample that Mary Kay has to offer. I'm a, I'm a big fan of a strip of 3D samples in a charcoal mask. And you can send her those samples and just one-on-one -on -one FaceTime her or, you know, what, whatever you already have available to you. If we're not into Zoom yet or any of your softwares, if she has an iPhone and you have an iPhone, you can just FaceTime and just talk just like this. And it's, it, it has the same feel and the same flow as if you were doing an individual appointment at her kitchen table. If she doesn't have an iPhone, you can use Facebook Messenger. So mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you're chatting with somebody, like right now, if Pam and I were in a Facebook chat, in the top, top corner, there's a little video camera. And if you press that, it calls her. And it brings you up on the screen just like this. So there's a lot of simple, easy things like FaceTime and Facebook chat that allows you to just, with a click of a button, be connected through the screen. Excellent, excellent. So in terms of other technology, because I, the reason I love Zoom is my computer's sitting here, I've got access to, you know, my phone my products if I wanted to lift them up, you know, my call, I've got my, I'm hands free with everything that I've got while we're talking. So if she did Facebook Messenger, would she need a little stand or something for her phone or how, how, how does that work logistically? Um, Kristen, you're, I'll let you after I say this, take that because I always joke that I wish that I looked as good in real life as I do on Kristen Sharp's iPhone because she's like <laughs> amazing at it. <laughs> but I think, yes, you want to start thinking about things like camera angles and lighting and, and Kristen can tell you about that. But if I'm being totally honest right now, my computer is propped up on my postal scale. Okay. And when I have something on my phone, I prop it up on the top of my laptop and it just hangs there. <laughs> so don't feel like it always needs to be exactly. so perfect. You know, yeah. you'll, you'll get there, but yeah. just, just do it and don't be afraid to just try new things. So, I, call that, I call that my version of ghetto technology. The first yes. <laughs> Circle story time. I could, it would not connect from uh, Zoom to Facebook, so I put it up, brought it on my phone. I'm holding my phone while we're doing this. It was so ghetto, but hey, it worked. It worked. It worked. Yeah. It's yeah. better than not doing it at all. And that's what I said. Like, oh no, we can't do it. I'm like, oh no, we are doing it. <laughs> oh, what did you add to that. Well, Pam, I'll tell you, I, I have a really inexpensive stand. It was like $4.99 on Amazon. It's nothing special, but that really helps me. And a lot of times when I'm just doing like a FaceTime facial, even my pop socket on the back of my camera, it actually leans against my sink because what I found a lot of times with these FaceTime facials is when I'm washing my face and doing it with them, they don't feel as uncomfortable and either do I. It's really like just an organic, authentic. Yeah. And I think that's the thing I'd want people to know is when I'm doing these things on FaceTime, it's exactly like I would do if I was at a feet and comfortable um, because it's in the convenience of your own home and they're comfortable in their environment. So I do have a ring light. I'm a big fan of natural light being right in front of your window because I do think it looks, you look younger. Um, but I don't think that you have to have all the right equipment to get started. I think it's just getting started. Excellent. Excellent. I see a lot of people right now um, holding on to what they were doing because it's what they're comfortable with doing. And so I see a lot of really great directors doing only Facebook lives. And then in order to do that, you've got to go back and then you've got to post the meme that you're talking about. And then you've got to have somebody answering the chat that you're talking about. So let's talk about Zoom technology. Um, I have said since this started that if I believe 
If you're sharing the product with one to 10 people, a Zoom Live would be great because they're all on there and they can ask you questions and it's all voice. They can see what you're doing. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you can see everybody. And then for 11 or more, take it Zoom to Facebook Live. That way, um, let's talk about all the benefits of Zoom to Facebook Live. When I first um, realized that you could go Zoom to Facebook Live, I'm like, I'll never use that. And then a couple of weeks, I'm like, I think I want to use that because I wanted to have four speakers and I wanted to be able to share my screen and show a flyer. And so everything changed when I realized the capacity. So what would you guys say in terms of um, using Zoom, let's say that they tiptoe in with a, a FaceTime facial. Let's say they tiptoe in with using Messenger and call five friends. But would you agree that Zoom is absolutely the best technology that exists for all the capacities with what we can do with it and how really um, versatile it is? So what would you, yeah. uh, when, when I'm saying one to 10, what would you say, what would you advise as to how to use it and under what circumstances? Well, I'll say this, what's happened for me, Pam, is a lot of the people that are like unsure about doing a Facebook party or a Zoom party for me, it started off as a one-on-one -on -one facial, very much like how we build a relationship in our Mary Kay business, face-to-face, one-on-one, but this is over FaceTime. And then they see how much fun it is, and they're like, wait, how do I do this with my friends? And that's where I think the Zoom technology comes in. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, is what's so neat, because we're going to come up to a point, like any time in our business, where we get through that first initial circle of influence. And so when we can incentivize them to have a Zoom or a Facebook party, or both in a sense, mm -hmm. it's how we meet their friends of friends and really divide and multiply. Love so. It. I absolutely love the feature of Zoom to Facebook um, for that very reason, because I like the Facebook group because of the added things you can add and do and go back with Zoom because of the playback. And then I can take that Zoom link and as a sales director, I can also take that link and put it in Vibe Cloud, um, which then I can text out, I can archive, I can put it on my website. I mean, the advantages are endless. Mm -hmm. So I'm a big fan of the Zoom to Facebook. Right, right. So let's talk about this feature. Right now I'm recording this. So let's say that I gave this to all my directors and they decide to hold a Zoom to Facebook Live. They can grab this link. They can share their screen. They can show our interview to their entire unit as their entire unit hears how we would use technology today. If they do the Zoom to Facebook Live option, if they just go Facebook Live, they can put it on there and hope that they'll watch it, but they can't do it in an interactive, controlled part of the meeting environment. So I love that. Yeah. I love that. So bottom line, what you're saying, Kristen, is you can take the technology. Like the other night, when I recorded um, our Inner Circle Story Time, I recorded us, even though it went live beautifully, but even if it hadn't, I would have had a great Zoom recording to have gone and put back on that Facebook page later because the Zoom recording is perfection, where sometimes the Wi-Fi live might not be. So that's another use of, of repurposing. Leanne, I'll bet you have another idea. Yeah, I think Zoom is um, just, I think it's a must for sales directors, to be honest. I have used Zoom for years. Um, I'll tell you, today's the first day of virtual school here in South Florida, and my son right now is in class on Zoom. So with all this technology, terminology, and things we're telling you, if, if your brain is kind of on overload, I, I just want you to think of yes. Max and RJ David are 7 and 11, and they have learned Zoom. So it really is very simple. That's what I like about it. Um, as a sales director, I have used this to live stream my unit meetings. So even whenever we were live at our meetings, you have consultants all around the country and it allows them to stay tied in to what you're doing because they were able to watch us through the computer. Mm -hmm. Now that we're home, I'm still having my regular Tuesday night live every week and they're up on the computer and you can talk and you can interact. And so with Facebook live, it's one way communication and they're just, sitting there looking at you. And you know, we all have the attention span of a gnat, maybe right. not even that long. Mm -hmm. And so they don't get distracted and walk away. So I try when I'm communicating directly with my unit or my customers, you have to keep those videos like two or three minutes or they're not going to watch it. Where with Zoom, I say, it's always like, I want you to imagine that you came over to my house and we're all sitting around on my couch, just hanging out and talking. 
And so Zoom mimics, it's the closest thing that I've found that mimics that real live interaction in a group of people. So I think for leaders, there it's, it's endless. Right. But also when you do go to do your Facebook lives or your things that you're putting on for your customers, you know, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out for what I'm about yeah. to say now. <laughs> you right. might have to go back and listen to it. What we have figured out is that you can do the Zoom like this and you can shoot it to Facebook Live. What Facebook Live does is it will pop up with a little button that says, do you wanna hold a watch party? So we could be doing this, broadcasting it into the Epic Families Facebook group, but then each sales director could take this and shoot it into their own individual groups on a watch party. So it also allows you to gather different groups of people at different times and places without having to create a new Facebook group or get everybody in it or, or all of that. So the, the Zoom to Facebook Live for sales directors is just, I mean, it, it's a real game changer, but I also love the simplicity of it yeah. because if you're not techie, it is so easy to do. Yes, it's so easy to learn. And I remember when it came out forever ago. I've had it just since about when it came out. I think there was another company called WebNX or WebNX that I was using. And then Zoom got introduced to me and I was like, oh, I don't want to learn another technology. And then when I did, I was like, wait, I think this is better. And so, you know, the screen share capacity, for example. Um, last week in story time, you all know I, I like to tell stories. So I really, I didn't want to give up my talk time but I had seen this um, video of a group of Nashville artists who were singing It Is Well With My Soul. And it so moved me and it made me think of Mary Kay's life celebration. And it was played at my dad's and it was played at Jerry's, my late husband. And it just moved me so, and it felt so right to be able to share it then. So instead of me talking, I shared my time with that music. And the, the, what you can create organically, authentically, by screen sharing, or like you say, Leanne, those watch parties, that's become, I've been able to go back and look at some of the pages that we've done things on and realize that people know exactly what you're talking about, and they've created watch parties just by clicking on the technology. Okay, so let's talk about um, the, let's talk about the, the logistics. So everybody gets your own Zoom account. Um, I know you all know this, but you can edit your ID number to be your phone number so that now when I tell somebody to join Zoom, I say go to www.zoom.us or open your app on your phone, click the option, join a meeting, and then enter my cell phone as the meeting ID. I don't even anymore send them a link because I made it that simple. So that's one piece. The other thing that people don't know when they go down and the litter, there's the little more and the three dots, they don't know. They're like, I don't see go to Facebook Live. So you have to start at your settings and you have to go to settings and go all the way to the bottom and then come about a third of the way up. And I think the setting says allow online stream meeting. So you've got to make sure that your setting allows that. And then as soon as you do, you can use those three lines and then go to Facebook Live, go to YouTube Live. Um, there, there, there are some other options, but those are the two that most people use. Okay, you guys, let's let's tie a bow around it. If you were going to tell, um, well, let me let me back this up. So now we got the news on Sunday that we're on social distancing slash stay at home through April thirtieth. So we're so excited. We have <laughs> we have thirty two four more days of for sure. So that means everything we do is virtual. Every skincare party every facial, every new consultant orientation, every business debut, every original skincare party, every career chat, it's all going to be virtual. And so is there any reason why? I mean, what would you guys say? What, would, what are you doing to create file folders, uh, or have you started yet, of screen shares for each situation? Leanne, do you want to share with her what we do using like the Vibe Cloud and like the landing page? Because I think that is, is huge with a lot of stuff we're archiving. Yeah. Um, so another thing that I love about Zoom to Facebook. So if we did this here right now and we shot it to Facebook, you have two options. You could download the Zoom here like this directly to your hard drive you can even download directly from Zoom. Both simple, both very easy. What Kristen and I have really worked on is 
we don't want to have a whole bunch of things all over the place with all these ideas. You know, we don't want to overwhelm everyone. Like our, our overall message is just, this is so simple. Like stay with us. I promise you it's simple. And so um, we use an email system called Byte Cloud. There's, you know, bomb bomb, there's MailChimp, you know, that whatever the service is. But what our Vite Cloud allows us to do is you can have, click this link and it opens up like a web page. It's called a landing page. And it can say, here's everything you need to know about holding an online skincare party. You could drop this training into there. You could type and put attachments to your documents. Like maybe you have a you know, quick start guide to Zoom. You could load that that in there. And so we really love having that landing page where people can click it, it opens up and it, it looks like a web page of everything that you have on that topic. And the other thing that makes that so great is let's say that you did a you did a Zoom on, you know, maybe you did a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with a customer and you recorded it. You could take that and put that in that landing page. Then let's say you had a new consultant debut and you recorded it. You could take that and put that on that landing page. So as long as somebody clicks the link, they will always see the latest and greatest of whatever it is that you've put out there. So it's not like an email where once you send the email, it's out there and then and if you make a new placemat, they don't have it. That landing page allows you to do that. So Kristen and I, we've done this for a long time, is that we will use our recordings to have trainings. I mean, we, we have one that are like, here's our new consultant booking training, and here's the video of us at the top, and then all the documents at the bottom. If they change the flip chart, we just update the link. So you really want to think about it, leaders, sales directors, how could you use this going forward to be able to train your sales force? How, how could you train your unit? And so having the Zoom to Facebook or the, the Zoom at all allows them to have an inside look on what you actually did. Right. So people three mm -hmm. years from now could look back on this Zoom and it's like they're eavesdropping in on what actually happened. Right. And so it's a really great way for you to just always be saving and capturing whatever you're doing because you wanna duplicate yourself and let other people watch it and see it. So Vibe Cloud has just been a real game changer, I know, for, for Kristen and I. We really, mm -hmm. I feel like we would die without Vibe Cloud <laughs> Zoom right now. Love that, love that, love that. Um, cut, Zoom allows us to cut down the conversations. And I don't know if this is just how I feel because I have a unit of 500, but sometimes I just, when I haven't incorporated something like Zoom, I have felt like I wanted to knock my head against my pink Escalade because it was like the same conversation over and I was losing my joy. Yeah. And so what I love about Zoom is it's this, it allows us to create this huge library, yeah. but simplify it through like what she was saying, this one simple link that automatically, it's like it automatically just updates with the newest greatest. And so then I can take that and those Zoom playbacks, right? And I can easily text. I can easily pop that link into my Facebook group. I can easily email that out because I'm having to hit people multiple different ways. And I, I wanna say this too, is because Leanne and I have positioned ourselves in this situation and we have been working on this, Pam, I'm having one of my best months I've ever had in my career. I love that. It doesn't surprise me, but I love that when you said that the other day, I was like, of course you are. <laughs> yes. I am so excited, like from poolside, because it's 85 degrees in Georgia. And I'm like, right. wow, this right. is incredible. So jump on the bandwagon. Like you can learn this and you can still keep it simple, sweetie, for yeah. your unit members, for your team members. Yes, yes, yes. I love that. Thank you guys. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, one more thing, and then we're going to dumb it down. Um, to the most elementary for the most elementary, because I know we lost some people with the, with that conversation a little bit because we all have our level of comfort zone, our level of stretch, and then our level of overwhelm, right? So here's what we all want to say to you. I know wherever you are on your level of expertise, just, I don't know how to do a FaceTime conversation on my iPhone to, I have stored by cloud training. 
wherever you are from here to there, uh, you're, you're starting where you are and guess what? That's always been the way it is. We have to start from where we are and move to where we're gonna go. Um, my son and I watch American Idol. And one of the things that one of the judges said to one of the contestants is, remember where you came from, but sing to where you wanna go. And so mm -hmm. it's an important piece of, you know, remembering your roots and knowing the simplicity piece, but at the same time stretching, you know, into the future. So I've watched a lot of really good skincare parties and uh, our, our virtual parties are going wild. And I think there's something to a more comfortable level of closing people without touching skin um, because I'm seeing them close parties of a thousand, two thousand, you know, crazy numbers. Is, is, is there any reason why that the director couldn't do a Zoom to Facebook Live skincare party, record it on Zoom, give the Zoom link to her beauty consultant. Now her beauty consultant gets Zoom and now she can show her director doing a skincare party to her family and friends until she learns the skincare party. Yes? Yes. Okay. Exactly. So to me, there's just, that's another reason that every beauty consultant needs Zoom so she can do Zoom to Facebook because she can say something to her family and friends. You know what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing yet, but my director Leanne does. And so we're going to watch her skincare party and I'm going to talk you through it and I'll be on the chat with you Facebook live and then we'll come back and we'll discuss it on Zoom together. I mean, to me, that's really going to be the future of directors utilizing their skill level and getting it in front of their consultants. Okay. So let's dumb it down. I know nothing and it's virtual and we know it's virtual for at least another month. And can we agree once we get past this month, it's not going away. Virtual will not go away. I mean, I think we'll all look forward to hugging people and getting together <laughs> again, but virtual won't be going away. So if I, I'm a brand new Mary Kay Beauty consultant, I don't know what to do. Um, I don't have a Facebook group page. I, what do I, what's step one, step two, step three for me? What would you say now are a part of new beauty consultants um, starting steps with given the technology and the virtual necessity? Thing to remember and the thing I find myself saying over and over and over as I'm guiding people through technology these past few weeks is think about what can you do to recreate the environment that you would have if you were face to face and you will be surprised at how what you do online is the exact same thing so what do I mean by that when things are normal, you get in your car, you drive to someone's house and you do a facial one-on-one. -on -one. Or what do we do when we're all new? We facial our mom or our sister, or you call mm -hmm. your best friend up who lives across the country. I know Kristen did this. I did this for something the other day and I'm like, I gotta learn this. Can I borrow your face? Yeah. <laughs> Start with that. Grab someone that you know and love and trust and say, I don't know what I'm doing, but I need to practice. Can I borrow your face? And that's whenever you just do a, a FaceTime facial or however you're doing it, like a one-on-one -on -one video call, okay? But then what I want you to know is that when you actually get the technology working and then you're sitting there face-to-face, -face, what you actually do then is the exact same thing mm -hmm. that you would do if you were face-to-face. Mm -hmm. So we're not learning new ways to talk about the product or your opening or your closing. You know, you, you get face to face and what would you do if you were at her house? You wouldn't just immediately walk in and start putting cleanser on her face. Hi, how are you? What's new? You know, you'd get a cup of coffee, you would chit chat and build that relationship. Mm -hmm. Then you would sit down and you would be walking her through the products. And so the act, actual logistics, the language, the order, the everything that you already feel comfortable doing in, in real life, it's the same yeah. online. Yeah. So you just have to overcome the hurdle of how am I going to get her to appear on the screen that I'm on? And then once you do that, you know what to do. And the other thing I find, Kristen, I don't know if you've found this too, but it's almost sometimes like the bigger the hot mess, the more they love it. Yeah. yeah. Like, right? It's like we so all have those times where you do it, a, 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 or even a regular party where you're like, dear God, like what just happened? I did not follow any of the rules. And they're like, that was great. Let's have another one. They don't feel like you need to have everything so amazing and perfect because they don't want that anyway. <laughs> so don't be afraid to just do what you already know that feels comfortable. Just find a way to get one-on-one. -on -one. But I would recommend practicing with people that you know. Set your goal to do a power start 
this week. Mm-hmm. A practice power start because we don't have to leave and go anywhere. This is what I love. Like I'm holding a 10 show week this week right? from yeah. this chair that I'm sitting right. in right now. So you can get your learning curve can move much faster yeah. virtually than it would in person because I can be on here doing a facial hang up and do another one five minutes later. And so just so like you were new. So glad you practice. said that. Yes, I'm so glad. Practice with people. Call up your mom, your sister, all the people you know, and be like, I need help. I need your face. <laughs> you know, I just asked my area of directors this past week. So what's your new normal? How many parties you used to do a week versus how many you can now because of the time difference? What would you say the time difference would be in doing a 10 party week virtually and a 10 party week from your car going to each place? Oh, I've been doing my yeah. parties in 45 minutes. Right. Yeah. Start to finish. And I think that's whole the secret <laughs> sauce is less than an hour. Don't you think, Leanne? I mean, my yeah. most successful Zoom to Facebook parties have been less than an hour. Yeah. For sure. Less yeah. than an hour. So mm-hmm. practical question. Do you guys like, you're putting the product on your own face. You're putting the product on your hand. You're holding up a product and saying, this is our cleanser. What, what tactically, what have you found that you like the best? Hmm. I've been doing, most of mine that I've done recently, they're doing the product themselves, but I'm doing it on my hand, but that's only just because I'm, I'm hiding right here from dogs and children and my husband's working from home and whatever. So I know that if I sit right here, everyone will leave me alone. Right. Um, but there's no reason why you couldn't be in your own bathroom yeah. doing it along with them. I wouldn't think Kristen, yeah. right? I love talking. I just love talking through it, right? I, I yeah. think some real merit in just talking through it, um, especially that since some people may or may not have samples. But so what you're saying is whatever works. and, and, and Whatever whatever works. Yeah. Yeah. One-on-one I've been doing it with them, but in groups of, I would say two or more, it's been more instructional. Yeah. Um, But I think you just have to test it out. And I think that's the thing, Pam, is like, you just got to dive in knowing like my first zoom, I was on mute for five minutes and everyone was trying to like point to me and I mean, it was good. I was passionate. They couldn't hear a flipping thing I was saying. And we just started laughing. I mean, last night I was doing a whole like facial experience with three of my best high school girlfriends. And I realized I'm outside away from my family and our family boat, our pontoon boat is in the middle of Lake Lanier. And I'm like, the party has got to stop you guys. <laughs> this is our boat. Um, I'll be back in 20 I'll minutes. Right back. <laughs> and it was like, they were like, oh my gosh, is everything okay? And yeah, I want the miracle set, Kristen. Like, I don't even need to know the rest of it. That that was just so much fun. My family's <laughs> dying right now. And so I think you gotta, you gotta just remember that. So Leanne and I have been wearing like costumes and I know that's so crazy, but like we're having a cruise theme party this week and I have like my captain's hat on. Like, I mean, we're going all out. Like we've done pajama parties. And I think that's the key is people need to have fun in their life, especially right now. And we can invite them into our pink bubble. And that's why our recruiting is so high is people are like, oh my gosh, I had no idea that you could do Mary Kay virtually. And I had no idea that it could be this much fun. And I need to laugh more right now in my life. And so it's the recruiting, Pam, that also is exploding because of the possibilities that people now see that they can actually fit Mary Kay into their life now from the convenience of their own home. I love it. And you know what? I believe for all of us that team building is going to explode through yeah. and following this because it's just like, you know, when, when we see what happened, which is the first time in my lifetime that it's happened, certainly I'm sure the first time, well, it would have to be the first time in your lifetimes. Um, who's prepared, you know, who, who can keep working because not everybody can, and which is heart wrenching. It's hard. And I don't want to gloat over someone else's challenge. I want to be a solution to someone else's challenge. And we know that our opportunity is, but I believe it's going to keep growing exponentially and that it's going to be a turning point for us. And, and the more we can be prepared for them to give them options, um, the more, the more they're going to, um, just be so grateful and so surprised. So let's say she's starting. Okay. She's got her smartphone. That's what she's got. She needs to develop a Facebook live private group with family and friends, prospective customers and customers. And she needs Zoom technology. Anything else you guys think she needs to just technically to get started? I mean, Leanne, I think one of the things that, sh- that Leanne's taught me that is so brilliant, and this is for directors possibly, but how she is helping her consultants set themselves up virtually and 
how now we've moved into doing business debuts. And Leanne, do you have like a couple minutes to just to chat on that? Because you had that idea, you gave it to me and it's worked fabulous. And I've only done a couple, yeah. but it's okay. setting people up for success. Yeah. So what I'm doing, and, and I know Pam and I had a conversation about this too, is I'm really looking at my entire team as being all brand new. So whether you're a consultant or a director, you have a team member. We all have those team members that rock it out. We have the kit snatchers that you get the kit you never hear from again and everyone in the middle, except for right now, every consultant that you have on your team and every customer that you have in your customer base is brand new because they haven't experienced what you have. They haven't, consultants haven't learned to work their business in the way that you're able to show them. Them. Customers haven't been able to experience Mary Kay in the way that you're experiencing it. And so I'm looking at everyone as brand new. So whether it's a brand new consultant that joined my team or an existing season consultant that I am helping get up and running, we are doing a business debut. Uh -huh. Just like you do a business debut when you're new and you have your first party and we get you up and running, I would love to debut you online. And what that looks like, Pam, is we are creating the Facebook customer group together and they are inviting people to their virtual business debut within the Facebook group. Love it. So we do their first party, their business launch within that Facebook group. And then when it's over, they're the admin of that group and now their customer group is created. And so they can continue to invite people and they can continue to do the events that we did. You can invite people after the fact and they can go in and rewatch what they missed and so this is something that I do even when the world is normal I'm always thinking you know even when I went to their homes and was debuting them live we always had the computer or the camera there because I would tell them even if people don't live locally to you still get them on and we would give them a zoom link and they would watch us live in her home and we sold product through zoom then and these people weren't there weren't at the table we didn't mail, we didn't mail anything. They just watched, we sold products even though they didn't try it. And so debuting your business online is something that just makes sense. It makes sense, it's normal, it feels normal. And so for leaders, that's something that you can do with your new consultants or existing, and you're actually helping them get those systems in place. Oh my goodness, and the courage and confidence it gives them. I mean, it's why we did business debuts and launch parties before we went virtual is to give them that same kind of, I got your back confidence. You know, I think that's what a new beauty consultant really wants to know. Who's got my back? Who's going to teach me this? And bam, there you are getting her set up. Well, you guys, you're brilliant. You're beautiful. You're go give, you're extraordinary. You're influential. You're innovative. You're early adapters. And I'm just so grateful to call you friends and colleagues and very excited to um, keep treading the waters of this season together. We are, absolutely better together. And um, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to record Shared Brilliance so that we can pass it on with our sisters because I'm confident that so much of what you've said are things that they have not necessarily been able to think of all yet. And I'm sure we'll keep learning from so many of our sisters as well. So we're going to call it a day and uh, goodbye everybody. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Sam.